Signing with it, y'all. It's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Dills. No question, Neighborhood Nip. I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for snitches. All right, so we got him in hand. I got to say, I like him better in person. I'm going to be honest with you. I do like him better in person. Let me know what you think of him, but in person, way better. Um, I actually kind of want him now. And I, you guys remember, I was saying I don't know about these. So um, with this Jordan 11, I think I may try to cop. Way better in person. Way better. The metallic is nice on here. On the back, it looks so dope. I had a feeling I may warm up to him once I see him. As far as the fit, true to size. Definitely true to size. Got your shank plate. Here's a look at the outsole. Got that like milky outsole. You got your pan leather. So look at the lettering. So it's not metallic on the lettering like it is here. Um, I kind of like that it's subtle here. That I don't got that metallic. It's just like a, just a regular silver. I kind of like that. Um, yeah, I actually like these in person way better. Leather's decent there. Close up on the back. So the Jumpman is way more metallic than even here. This 23 hit is, is the same vibe as over here. Looking at the toe, it is where you can see through there. And then your patent leather, rope laces representing the basketball net, your tag in leather, and behind the tongue, there's a link in the footbed. Comes with a regular cardboard insole, which is weird. Usually they have that plastic shoehorn. I said insole, excuse me. Sometimes you gotta see the sneaker in person. You gotta see him in person to judge him. And this is definitely the case here. I actually like these now. The Jubilees releasing next week. Let me know if you picked them up, if you're watching after the release. Uh, and if you want these, don't sleep on them. Go to my blog, thesneakeratic.com. We'll help you out and follow my Twitter at DJ Dells because I'll be posting links. We post a lot of restocks there too. For sure, a lot of restocks, especially with PlayStations and Xboxes. I love the patent leather cut too. Nice thick cut. And that high pine leather like the OG is fire. Let me know what you guys think of them. Leave it in the comments, hot or not. Are you going to pick them up or is this a pass? Subscribe if you're new. Thumbs up the video. And um, yeah, you got to see these in person. They look better in person than in the photos. Way better. Thanks for tuning in. And make sure to um, turn the notifications on because we go live all the time. And kick it for hours. Sneaker battles. So much fun here. I'll put some pop-ups on the screen. Watch some more vids. The Kenny one, high five. Yeah, boy. I'm an addict for snitches. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. This is the Christmas special right here. We got the Kenya wine in the building. We got Cecilia in the building. I wanted to do a Christmas episode today and break down my top five favorite. Christmas shoes that I own. Before I start, I gotta shout out all the supporters, all the fans, everyone that shows love to your boy DJ Dells and the Sneaker Addict Show, whether it's online or when I'm out. I appreciate all the love. And keep showing that love, and I'm gonna keep doing this show right here. Coming at number five is gonna be the KD5 Christmas shoe right here. This one right here, I love. This is a shoe that over time I actually began to appreciate this sneaker more. It just brings me back to when I was a kid with the whole video game theme. 
I mean, video games as a kid, like, was everything to me. Like, every Christmas I wanted the new video game, you know, whether it's Super Mario, Zelda, whatever it was when I was mad young. So it was just such a big deal back then, you know, video games. And this brings me back to when I was a kid. It definitely does. So this is going to be my number five pick right here, the KD5 Christmas Edition shoe. My next shoe, number four, is going to be the top ten 2000 right here the nightmare before Christmas edition this one came out last year in 2012 I love how it actually even has the date on the shoe but as soon as I seen these I had to pick these up and they look insane on feet and it's just a different Christmas shoe a lot of the Christmas shoes is just your typical colors your typical red and white which there's nothing wrong with that because I mean it's Christmas and that and that's what we want you know but how many red and white Christmas shoes do you need? And that's where this one comes into play and it just looks really different. And I really love how this is focused on Christmas Eve right here. So, you know, I will be wearing this tonight on Christmas Eve. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already seen me wearing them because I was up really early this morning. I was up, um, me, PJ, and Cecilia, we just came back from the North Pole. We just visited Santa Claus. He needs some help. So we just stopped by and helped him real quick. Now we're back home right now. And um, I actually started wearing these this morning. So if you follow my Instagram, you already seen the picture of me at the North Pole. And I took a quick snap and whatnot. I couldn't take too many pictures, you know what I mean? Santa Claus was like, you got to chill out. You can't be taking all these pictures over at the North Pole. Would you paparazzi or something? I was like, I'm sorry, Santa. So I had to put my iPhone away. It's understandable, though. I'm not tripping. So... Here we go with my number four pick right here. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas Adidas Top 10 2000. Hot shoe too. And as far as the fit of these, these run true to size. So number three, we're gonna keep it with Adidas right here. This one right here, I love. The Christmas in Hollis shoe right here. I love the fact it came with no laces and it actually has like this extension attached to this booty right here. And you know, you could wear it without the laces. It's still like it's, fitting to your foot so it's a hot hot sneaker the song Christmas and Hollis I mean I'm from New York it may be different because I'm from New York but I don't think so I think that it's just a classic song right there like I hear that beat come in and I'm like <laughs> yeah it's Christmas I love it and this is a hot shoe right here Christmas and Hollis once again, not your typical red and white sneaker. You already know a red and white sneaker is hot. It's Christmas. That's what we want to wear. But every year, a new red and white sneaker releases. Then something like this releases, and it's a whole nother ball game. This is where you could rock something that's Christmas inspired, but it's different. It's not the same old song and dance. So me, someone who owns plenty of sneakers more than your average can appreciate something like this and love it love this one right here so this is my number three pick of my favorite christmas shoes that i own right here the christmas and hollis adidas keith herring shoe right here all right so here we go number two what's it gonna be what's it gonna be i know i keep saying uh, i like this sneaker because it's not your typical red and white colorway but it is christmas i keep reminding you that too and this is my number two pick. It's gotta be bomb. The Christmas LeBron 8s right here. This was so out of here. When I first seen the images, I was like, yo, this is like the ultimate Christmas shoe. And it really is the ultimate Christmas shoe. I mean, you look at this shoe and you're thinking one thing and one thing only, Christmas. Love it. This is my number two pick. We're gonna get to my number one pick. When the photos first leaked on this shoe right here, I lost my mind. I was like, yo, this is the illest Christmas shoe ever. And it's gotta be the Kobe Grinch right here. The Kobe Grinch, come on, crazy shoe. I mean, the execution on this is just out of control right here. It has to be number one. Greatest Christmas shoe possibly ever. How can you beat this? They just hit the nail on the head with this one. I mean, the way the upper looks in general, like this like popped out synthetic, kind of like the Grinch's skin. It's like this on all these Kobe's right here, on this model right here, but it just works so perfectly. 
and you have your different shades of green and how it fades from a light to a dark toward here and you got your hits of red that just pop like crazy this is my favorite Christmas sneaker there's no debating there's no questions on that it is what it is this is my number one pick right here the Kobe Grinch but with a quick recap we've got the KD5 Christmas edition then we got the Adidas top 10 2000 nightmare before Christmas then we got the superstar Adidas run DMC Keith Haring edition shoe right here and then we got the LeBron 8 Christmas edition and then of course my number one pick is the Grinch such a hot shoe love this one right here it's got to be the number one pick my favorite christmas shoe right here i hope you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button if you love what i'm doing check out my blog the sneakerattic.com for your sneaker news release info restock info anything that could help you out with getting your kicks is going to be on my blog, thesneakerattic.com. That's the blog for the people, just like my YouTube channel is for the YouTube channel for the people. Happy holidays from your boy DJ Dells, Cecilia, the Kenya Wine, and Frosty the Snowman. And we'll be back, really, really. The Kenya Wine, meet Obi Wan. High five. Yeah, boy.